Now, before you click off the video, I know, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Really, Michelle? That's very selfish. Their success has nothing to do with you. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video here on Chats with Michelle. What's up, guys? How's it going? So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about comparison versus contentment. And I'm going to be sharing with you three easy tips or steps, I would say, on how I overcome it every single day. And I want to go ahead and share that with you today as well. As you guys know, here on this channel, we focus on the journey of navigating adulthood and pursuing purpose. And in today's video, this very much has to do with both navigating adulthood and pursuing purpose. So if you're interested in anything that I have to say about this topic, then just keep on watching. So you guys know, for the most part, I always like to give you guys a little bit of info background on where the whole idea or topics come from for each week's video. And this week, this whole idea, or I was inspired rather from a podcast that I listened to called Everything is we it's a young married couple i'm going to go ahead and list the exact podcast episode that i was listening to in the description box below if you're interested in listening to yourself i thought it was a really great podcast but basically the gist of the topic that they were talking about in i believe it was last week's um episode was about the notion that um it was supposed to happen that was pretty much a topic and they pretty much talked about how like you know the different trials obstacles or pretty much just the pathway in your life it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing that necessarily happened but it was supposed to happen and then that got me thinking you know after listening to the podcast it got me thinking about contentment right and being just content with life and that's not to be confused with complacency and i want to go ahead and read the definitions of the two so that we know exactly what i mean okay so i have it right here and i'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys so Contentment is a state of happiness and satisfaction. Complacency is a feeling of smug or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievements. And usually with complacency comes comparison, right? We typically tend to compare ourselves, etc. And the definition of comparison is a consideration or estimate of the similarities or dissimilarities between two people or two things or people. And let's be honest, typically when we're comparing things, unless we're buying something, right, it's usually us comparing ourselves to other people and it's usually the dissimilarities, not so much the similarities that we have to the person. So I wanted to provide you with three easy tips that I often use myself to quit comparison and embrace contentment. So tip number one is to talk to yourself out loud. Yes, you heard me correctly. Talk to yourself out loud. So what do I mean by that? Meaning when you start getting that feeling of comparison, you know, you know that feeling of you just start, you know, feeling not worthy and just that whole comparison feeling you need to talk to yourself out loud and say nope we are not doing this today absolutely not we're not doing this and then i would even also recommend to think of one positive win that you recently accomplished so let me give you an example of that dang she really just bought her first house already goodness um michelle Mm -mm. nope we're not doing that absolutely not we're not doing that we are not comparing ourselves okay um did you not just get 50 percent off at the car dealership celebrate that boo congratulations to you too okay okay now before you click off the video i know <laughs> i know what you're saying really michelle this girl just bought a whole house and you're talking about 50 percent off at a car dealership that does not compare well, that's the thing. That's the problem. The comparison thing is the problem. Yes, I know. I'm being dramatic. 50% off. Like, really? That's so silly. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is to celebrate your win. Stop comparing your win to the size of their win. Their win is theirs and your win is yours. And did it ever appear to you? Like, this is what I literally thought about recently. Like, if I keep on comparing my wins to other people's wins, I'll never be blessed with a bigger win because I can't even appreciate the small ones that I have. So why do I even deserve to have a bigger one if I'm not grateful for the ones that I have now? So that's just the point I'm trying to get across right now. Now back to your regular program content. <laughs> Tip number two, celebrate with them. If we're being completely honest or if I can be completely honest, no, I think if we're both being completely honest, right? 
we can tend to be super self-centered and super just like us thinking and almost like selfish in a way. And I even had to like check myself and challenge myself because why is it that if someone else is, is succeeding or experiencing something great in our life, then we go and turn it onto ourselves and start feeling bad about ourselves. Um, last time I checked, God is not limited, right? So he can do, if he can do it for them, like imagine what he can do for you. And that's what I had to like change my way of thinking. And it's, it's something that I'm practicing every single day. It's not always super easy for me, but it's something, a muscle that I'm working in my brain. It's like, instead of like looking at them as feeling bad about myself, well, that's very selfish. No, celebrate with them, enjoy with them. Like, you know, pop champagne with them, right? Like have fun with them, you know, don't make it about you. Their success has nothing to do with you. And I and I know that's easier said than done, but I think if we start practicing that, I think it'll make it easier for us to not begin that comparison game, but make it more easier for us to celebrate with other people and start embracing the contentment in the season that we're in currently and understanding that we, like, you know, it was supposed to happen, like I was saying in the beginning, and that it's all working, right? together for something greater for us and that we don't have to feel bad about ourselves because they're doing great if anything we need to celebrate with them and be like "Ooh, i'm just i'm just waiting for me my season right so like i said yeah easier said than done but like don't make it about you celebrate with that person or that couple or whichever tip number three is to unfollow them now i made a video about this recently called um like using the mute button i'll make sure to link it below and link it up here in the cards somewhere but i made a video about this recently about just simply unfollowing i mean a lot of us now are on social media the web the internet you know all those different things and it is not mandatory for us or required that we follow people or some people if it's causing you any kind of harm or making you feel inadequate about yourself then honey you may need to unfollow that person or mute that person. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too deep into this point because I've already made a whole entire separate video about this, but I wanted to reiterate it again that it may be time for you to go through your social media and do a cleanse, right? Do a cleanse and literally start unfollowing people and clearing out some of your social media so that way you're not sitting there comparing yourself to someone else that you don't even need to be comparing yourself to. Social media is supposed to be used for inspiration, not comparison. So for if any reason you're comparing yourself for any bad things, right? Or any inadequateness or things like that, if you're comparing yourself, then um, I think it is time for you to unfollow. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that this video was super helpful for you and just three easy tips or steps that you can incorporate into your every single day life when you're starting to feel that comparison bug in your heart, in your spirit, that you can just practice these things. Like I said, it's something that I use every single day that I am constantly reminding myself to like snap out of it because honestly, the things that we dwell on will only just get worse. So I rather dwell on positive things rather than things that make me feel bad about myself right so i hope that helps you and i hope that it encourages you and as always thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like comment subscribe you can also share this video if you would like to you can also follow me on my social media my instagram page to be more specific which is right there thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video here on chat with michelle bye <laughs> peace out